and had me by the neck and he felt like he was on top of me and I'm, lo I, I'm looking at him in his eyes and I don't see him anymore. I don't see him anymore. It wasn't him. It was black. I've never been so scared in my life. It was, it was black. I couldn't see him. And he was looking at me and I was trying to get through to him. I was trying to say to him in some way that it was me. I was trying to get through to Johnny. And I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him at all. And it, my head was bashing against the back of the bar and I couldn't breathe. And I remember trying to get up and I was slipping on the glass. My feet were slipping. My arms were slipping on the countertops. And I remember just trying to get up so I could breathe, so I could tell him that he was really hurting me. I didn't think he knew what he was doing. I don't know how... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, mean, I couldn't breathe. Please. I don't know. I couldn't get up and I don't know how that ended I don't know I don't know how I don't know what happened next I don't understand I, 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 when I the, the next thing I remember it was been over um, backwards on the bar, meaning my chest was up. I was staring at the blue lights, and my chest was on this. My back was on the countertops, and I thought he was punching me. I thought he was. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was, it was, I felt this pressure, I felt this pressure. He you know, my pubic bone and I, he thought he was he thought he was punching me. I just saw his arm, I could feel his arm moving and I it looked like he was punching me, but I could just feel this pressure. It was like if it kept hitting me, it didn't feel pain. It was just a pressure on my pubic bone, and I don't know. I, I don't remember what I said. I just remember being really still, not wanting to move. I remember looking around the room. I remember looking at all the broken bottles. Broken glass, and I remember they just not wanting to move because I didn't know if it was broken. I didn't know if the bottle that he had inside me was broken. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel it. I didn't feel pain. I didn't feel pain. I didn't feel anything. I just I didn't want it. I didn't, I looked around and I saw so much broken glass that I didn't know 
if he would know, if he would know, um, I didn't know if he would know if it was broken or not. And I just remember thinking, please, God, please. I hope it's not broken. I don't know how that ended. I don't know how I got off the countertop. I, I just remember it being in the bathroom. I remember retching. I remember the sound my voice was making. I remember I lost control of my bladder. I remember just retching. I remember there was blood on the floor. Um, I got up at some point. I don't know how that night ended. I don't remember what happened. I don't remember. I have a memory of him begging me not to leave. I remember going outside the front door. I remember him coming out to the front area, but I, I, I don't remember. If that was before or after this, I, I don't remember. I just have that memory. I remember uh, taking a bunch of sleeping pills. Not a bunch, like two, which is a lot for me. <clears throat> I remember falling asleep or I don't remember falling asleep, but I know I fell asleep because I woke up the next day. Um, I assume it was late morning. Um, he, I could hear him downstairs. Uh, I could hear Marilyn Manson. Um, music, not in person. I could hear the music. Maybe he said it was Marilyn, or maybe I could uh, recognize it. I don't remember, but I became aware of it. That's what I was hearing. It was blaring. It became clear, obvious to me when I walked downstairs. He was still up. He hadn't gone to sleep again. Um, I uh, walked downstairs and I saw this um, brown on the walls going down the stairs. And the brown on the walls became clear, like it became clear, like lettering. 